Hey, kiddo, what are you doing, huh? You're going to be 13 in a couple of days. She don't care. She just keeps going. She, she'll just run the whole length of this beach, up and down, chasing cars. Well, chasing him, too. That was that was Fluffy's stick. And she takes it, and now he'll stand there and be pissed off and bark at her. Well, you know, she's like a third of the size of you. You could probably get it back. Don't complain to me. She's enjoying it. Let her have it, huh? Ah, quit whining. Ah, I said quit whining. Yeah, he he won't. He'll never shut up. We're hanging over time. We're hanging over time. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go, Panthers. Let's go. Panther fans, so got the Oilers tonight. Bubba Brewski's in net. Bubba, Bubba, do the thing. Bubba, Bubba needs to do the thing. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a good game out of Bubba tonight. Edmonton comes in. They've got to be desperate, even though that may not be the narrative around the Oilers right now. They're about a week. Well, they're one more bad week of hockey away from pretty much not even being able to. Talk about possibly making the playoffs at some point. They're not completely off the charts yet, but they're going to be there if they lose another two or three games here this week. So I'm not taking this lightly. I'm not looking at this like this is a last place team at all. Okay, they've got a lot of dangerous players over there, and Barkov is out. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's still working because he's only day to day. So, that's not the end of the world. I mean, last year, I think the, the last couple of years, he's missed like 15, 16 games each season. So, if he's out this week, I don't take a week off, have his Thanksgiving, we play the day after Thanksgiving, and then maybe come back next week, right? You know, at the most two weeks, no damage. So, we're good to go there in terms of anything long-term. Anton Lundell. Y'all know how I feel about Lundell. All right, he's looked better the last couple of games since I made that video about him. Now he's really going to get a chance to roll the ice. I mean, and especially, um, why don't you just have yourself your first day up there against Connor McDavid? So this this game has the possibility and the capability of being the game that gets the Oilers right. Okay, I don't want to be that team, and I'm not suggesting that I think that that is going to happen. But at some point, this team is going to start winning games. Okay, right? I mean, they're not going to just suck the entire year. At some point, they're going to start winning games. It doesn't need to be tonight, though, okay? We got everybody else back except for Barkoff. So I think Stenlin is at 3C. That put Lorenz at 4C. Stenlin's done pretty decent uh, when he's had the opportunity. Maybe Luce Tarainen will perk up a little bit more after he got his goal the other night. And for Lundell, what I said today in the members' podcast is you don't have to worry about scoring goals. Just do what Barkoff does in the face-off circle defensively and help facilitate. Just get Reinhardt the puck. That's all you got to do right now, Lundell, okay? Because Reinhardt is on fire even though he didn't get one last game. Um, you don't have to try to replace everything that Barkov does. Just give us his defense and come as close as you can to the face-off circle, and we should be good to go because Bubba told me Bubba told me he's fitting to have a game. That's what Bubba said. All right, Panthers, what do we got? We got tonight, we got Wednesday, we got Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. That should be interesting to see who's awake during that game. So, All right, so it's two, two after one. Um, I feel much better about this game than I did after the first five, ten minutes, whatever it was. The first ten minutes or so, the Panthers defense looked extraordinarily disorganized, and that's to put it um, nicely. But we, we finally 
figured out, I can't talk tonight, we finally figured out that we're going up against a goalie who hasn't started a game in a couple of years, Picard, and we started peppering him with shots, we got two, we've almost had a couple more, so I feel better about this game. Um, McDavid gets Bubba from a, an impossible angle, absolutely impossible angle, and then Evander Kane beats Bubba, uh, Bubba, you told me, Bubba lied. What Bubba told me was fixing to happen was a lie. So could, how about the rest of the game? Could we could we not allow any more goals the rest of the game? Because, like, I almost had a heart attack doing the push-ups that were so... I had barely put... No, literally. I had just put the weights down for lifting for the first goal. And I had to pick them back up. All right. Let's move on to the second period. Just keep playing the way we did the second half of the first period. Yeah, I said that right. All right, so four, three Panthers after two. This a lot. This is this right. This has got playoff feel all over it, man. Back and forth and back and forth. Um, I, I'm not. Here's what I'll say. I was really, 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 really all five reallys. I was really pissed off about that penalty shot that they gave to McDavid. Now, I'm open to interpretations but as far as I know if the player gets a shot off it's not a penalty shot unless it's like ridiculously egregious and I don't think that that should have been a penalty shot just my opinion obviously Panther fan I kind of think though they gave that to him just because it was McDavid I mean he got a shot off so doesn't matter because we have our own McDavid by the name of Nico Mikla who's got two tonight now, there was a little talk about the Panthers not having a defenseman with a hat trick, and some people brought up Mark Pesic, but remember, Pesic was playing forward the night that he got the hat trick, so there's that to consider. Um, but, uh, here's what I'll say. Ekblad and Montour don't look as good as they did the other night, and I don't mean individually. I just mean the defense as a group looks a little bit discombobulated tonight. Um, now, the power play had been ass before they put Montour up there, but Montour has definitely um, lost the puck and lost the puck and made a couple mistakes on the power play there. So maybe maybe um, we leave Larson and, and, and Kachuk out there to handle the puck a little bit until Montour gets into a little bit more of a groove. Or maybe he's going to go to goal in the third period and shut me up. I feel good, like we should win this game, but I don't think we win in this game 4-3. I think we're going to need six. So let's finish this off. All right, we earned this one tonight. One, two, three, four, five, two points. So oh, that hurts. Ah, yes, two nice Big, here's, here, okay, so we had the chocolate chip pancakes, right? So this is what you do. You got two chocolate chip pancakes, all right? They're full of chocolate chips, so we don't need any more chocolate. All right, you're going to take one of them, and you're going to smother it in marshmallow fluff. You take the other one, and you're going to smother it in chunky peanut butter. Not creamy, chunky. Kyle would prefer creamy. I like the chunky. She's kicking me in the back. Then you take the two. Bam. Chocolate chip, marshmallow, fluff, peanut butter, pancake sandwiches. That's the two points that we just got. That was a beautiful thing. I can't believe we held on to that lead the whole third period. Um, Like Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. You know what I mean? We get the lead, and they give me a heart attack the whole third period, and we get the empty net goal, and we win. And we're holding these leads, and, I mean, we're not even allowing shots. Like, the last two power plays I think Edmonton had, they we didn't allow a shot. We didn't allow a shot while they were six on five with the empty net. I mean, it is just a master class. It is a Paul Maurice master class. This is crazy. These guys got this system down so good, and... Remember, this was without, without Barkoff tonight, okay? Absolutely. Um, we got the goals that we needed. Stenlin with his fifth goal. And, 
you know, the depth that we have now, I mean, look, Eric Stahl was good for us last year, but the Stenlin is doing the same thing, only he's getting a few more goals. The ability we, we have now to move him up to 3C when somebody's out, okay, uh, just I absolutely love to see it. Um, Lundell did what we needed him to do. He held his own, okay? No, you know, he wasn't great. He wasn't bad. He did what we needed him to do. That's all you can ask out, out of that situation. So Stanley gets one. Mikula gets two. Verhage got their first one. And then Bennett gets his first goal at the end of the night there with the empty net. And I'm not going to say the referees tried to keep Edmonton in the game, but let's just say the referees called a lot of interesting penalties. The embellishment on Lombard. If you guys are fans of this channel, you know I have a pet peeve of saying, man, we should be able to ask the referees questions. They should be held accountable for things like that and, and have to answer, what in the hell are you talking about with Ryan Lomberg embellishing that? Because he gets horse collared. The dude grabs him around the neck and tackles him, and Lomberg just goes, goes down, and they call him for embellishment, and under no circumstances. He had no opportunity to embellish anything. It was absolutely an absurd call. Doesn't cost us, though, and that's the biggest thing. None of the penalties really cost us. We get the two points. And the only disappointing thing about the night is Boston was fixing to get two points against Tampa, but then Tampa, Stamkos ties the game with four seconds left, and then they win it in overtime. So Tampa gets two, Boston gets one, so everybody gets points. So, But we did catch up a point on Boston, if anybody's interested in first place. Um, Bubba did the job. He did make some saves in that third period, though, okay? Um... And he, uh, he was very active also with moving the puck along a couple of times. In fact, I believe with the empty net, he actually cleared the zone with one of his uh, one of his shots from behind the net. So he was active tonight. It was good to see. Made the saves we needed to make. Defense did fine. Um, I know I made the minor complaint about Montour on the power play. We need Montour or Ekblad to put one in the back of the net. Um, I think Montour is just being a little, he's excited, right? He's happy to be back. He's being a wee bit too aggressive on the power play in terms of pinching and kind of overskating the puck because he's moving so fast. I think that'll settle down once he gets a goal. So I think we'll be fine there. Ekblad looks like he's moving good. That's good to see, right? Because that's always a concern um, when he's coming back from injury, how he's going to look. It looks good. It looks good. And you see the depth out there tonight. We did that without Barkoff. You, you love to see it. Edmonton is not, I mean, I know they're 5-10, and 10, but that is not a bad hockey team. Um, the goal, Their goalie, the, the, he did okay, right? I mean, they're, it seems as though what Edmonton, from what I've seen tonight, finding ways to lose hockey games. Um, the back end of their lineup, you know, our third and fourth lines pretty much, you know, um, I wouldn't say they dominated, but I think that's where Edmonton has their struggles is the, the bottom six may not be as good as they would like them to be. And we were able to push guys around a little bit tonight. It's good to see all the way around. Nice big two points. And now we got Boston on Wednesday. Who's going to be pissed that they lost the game with four seconds left. And then apparently, uh, Hagel, Scored in overtime for Tampa. So we're going to have a pissed off Bruins team. They already pissed off what we did to them last year. Now they lost the game in the last second. So um, good luck. That's going to be rough. That's going to be a rough game. Oh, and God Gajevich. I think that's how you say his name. Stu calls him Gotcha. Um, he had a hell of a fight with, I don't know, I forget the dude's name, but apparently he's 6'6". He did really, really good. That was one of the best fights I've seen from the Panthers. One of the best fights I've seen in a while. Um, it was a, he, he looks like a fun dude. So he can stay. He can stay. With all due respect to Lorenz, when Barkov comes back, Lorenz can be the guy that's off the ice and gotcha. We'll just call him gotcha. I like that. Um, he, he can stay. 
He almost got a goal tonight. He's got a little bit of pep to his step there. So, and, and just like with Stenland, Stenland's never had more than six goals in a season. He's got five already, right? So that's another thing. Zito just plucks these guys. You put them in Florida. It's the it's the it's the bikinis. It's the beaches and the bikinis and it's the coming. You know what it is? It's you come to the rink and your flip flops, right? So your feet don't hurt from wearing shoes all day. You see what I'm saying? So you skate faster and you're a better hockey player. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. All right. Enough of that. We get a big, fat, juicy two points. Now, um, on the stream, lots of people really appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. We're getting so many people. Lots of super chats. Lots of memberships being handed out for you new members. Um, normally, I do the reviews with Stu 8 o'clock the day after the games. It's going to be a little bit later tomorrow because Stu has got a car appointment. I will make a community post. If you're new to the memberships, how it works with the reviews with Stu is I will make a members-only post with the link so that you guys can watch it live. I think that's going to be more like 9 o'clock tomorrow, but normally it's at 8 o'clock. And then I also have a Monday through Friday podcast that I do um, every day for the members and the Patreon supporters. So thank you, Eyes, and thank you, Jake. Again, you guys are handing out memberships, and it's beautiful. We got more than 100 members now. We got another 30 people on the Patreon, and that keeps the lights on, and that's, that's the truth to that. So I really appreciate it. All right, big, fat, juicy, to I, oh, I need those pancakes now. We ate all the pancakes, so we're going to have to make some more before Thanksgiving for sure.